Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to another painting tutorial from me. This is the reference photo I will be using for this painting and also those are the brushes I will be using. I will be trying to use the larger brushes so I don't fuss too much with the details. I do want this one to be a little bit looser. I'm now making my sketch and I just wanted to make myself some guidelines where the field ends and the woods begins and also how tall I would like my pine trees to be. So those are the two lines I've drew and the second line, the line of pine trees, I just lightened slightly with my kneaded eraser to, well, I know that line will be visible because that part of the sky would be will be a little bit lighter so it won't cover it and I do want it to be quite light just keep that in mind afterwards I privetted the entire paper and then I mixed some azure and turquoise blue just to get this beautiful bluish color and then painted in the clouds and for that I did use a larger brush this is I think round number 12 and I've painted in those clouds just tapping in with the tip of my brush then pressing it a little bit harder with my belly and just tapped in those clouds. After that since the paint paper was wet the paint was spreading too much blooming too much and I did want it to make it slightly smoother so I just rinsed my brush and with it pick up those little blooms and make it a little bit smoother. After that I've used the tissue paper just to make some interested the clouds I did want this one to be a little bit lighter and also have some more texture to it so I did pick up some of the paint with my tissue paper. While painting the clouds the lower part of my paper dried so I did add a little bit more water to it because I did want it to be wet and then mixed in some chromium oxide and olive green to make this greenish color to paint the background for my pine trees because I do want it to make it appear that there is trees in a further distance and not just only one line of trees and this is just the background later on I will do the pine trees in a foreground and while drying this will bloom and also create the impression of a deeper forest. And while the paper is still wet, I'm painting in the fields and I'm starting with cadmium yellow medium as the lightest color I will be using for the fields and just painting in here and there some lines leaving some spots also white. On top of it I'm painting rose sienna in the same manner and after that some burnt sienna also in the same manner but just adding here and there and also on the parts that I did paint earlier with a lighter color in the lower part of them making some shadows and after that using some sepia to add in the darkest shadows to some parts of my fields. In those parts that I left white I'm adding some green well, just to make it a little bit believable, I don't think that it's quite believable that the field is white. So I did add a little bit more of the greenery. And after the paint dried, I am now adding some clouds. This one is a little bit darker, maybe some rainy cloud. And, you know, I did actually struggle with that cloud. I did not like it at the end. So I was going back and forth adding some colors, picking, trying to pick up some colors and it was just looking, it was just sticking too, too much and it was, I should have probably made it a little bit bigger and this, in this way I've just painted it on the top and it was just sticking too much and then as I said I was struggling with it so I decided to add a little bit more of that color in those lower clouds on the lower part of the clouds just to, you know, to try to fit in this one with the other clouds. Now I go back to the fields after it, after the paint dried and painted in some smaller grasses and also sprinkled in some color, some burnt sienna and later on some sepia. I'm not sure how visible that at the end will be but I thought it, it was nice touch and adding some little bit more of the details to the field. Also I will be adding a little bit more of the color. This is now Naples yellow in those parts that are white because I did want it to 
well I did wanted my field to match other parts of the painting to be also as vibrant as the other parts and the sky and also the trees will be a little bit darker so that part of the painting also was asking for a little bit darker color I will be adding a little bit more details to the fields now I've started painting my pine trees and I'm just painting them just quite simply very very simply I've painted a straight line just to know how tall my trees are going to be and then with the tip of the dagger brush and for that you can also use the tip of your round brush or maybe a flat brush and just made some lines going from one side to another side mimicking the branches and I've painted in with a mix of olive green and green and then only with the green color added in a little bit darker parts that are probably in a shadow or maybe are darker branches darker leaves so I've painted in a little bit darker and as I said just going with a lighter color and on top of it with a little bit darker color this tree I've painted in a little bit differently because I did not want it to be so luscious to have so many branches and so many leaves so I did painted it a little bit taller and also added a little bit less branches and I used this time a brush with a very pointy tip because I did want it as I said those lines to be those branches to be a little bit thinner and not so one close to another one but everything else I've painted in the same went first with a lighter color and then on top of it added a little bit more of the darker color mimicking the shadows when I finished all of my trees now that the paint has dried on some of them it's just mixed too much so I've added a little bit more of that darker green especially on the bottom part where the shadows are the strongest where the sun is hitting the least and I've painted in that darker and then with the just brush just water in it smudged that edge because I don't want the edge to be too harsh between the forest and the field and after that as I said earlier came, I came back to my field added a little bit more of the details a little bit more of those grasses and a little bit more of the color Naples yellow also some burnt sienna and some sepia and finish when finished with that now as I said struggling with that sky I've added a little bit more of that darker color on some clouds just again to well to blend that darkest cloud to the other ones and with that I'm finished with this painting thank you guys a lot for watching I hope it was quite simple and that you will give it a try and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel and without further ado I hope I'll see you next time bye